Hey guys, this is Kevin for Pixelvert.com. In this video, we are taking a look at the new features in GIMP 2.10.8. And I'm going to be limiting myself to one new feature, which is an addition to the way that the gradient tool works inside of GIMP 2.10.8. Now, this new version of GIMP came out just a couple of days ago, and it's mainly a st stability and performance upgrade. But it's got this one new feature which allows us to create these amazing new gradients like this one here. Now, usually with the gradient tool, you use it to create a, a kind of soft kind of blending of different colors. And if you want to see generally how it works in GIMP 2.10, I'm going to refer you to this video. Just Google Pixavert gradient tool in GIMP and you should get the video with the beautiful Korean girl and when you see that one, you know you're on the right track. Uh, but for this video, we're going to be focusing on something a bit more plain. We're going to be focusing on this new feature. What we do with the gradient tool is that we can create these new designs where we get these hard edges in between the colors. So this is going to be a more masculine feeling edit than the kind of soft feminine stuff that we normally get with the gradient tool. Now, what the gradient tool does let me just change it to, let's see, square. What the gradient tool does is that it blends different colors together. But if we change the blending in the midpoints, we can actually get this kind of step effect where the normal smooth blending is changed to step. So to access this, what you need to do, just draw out a gradient in the normal way draw out a gradient just in the normal way. There's nothing special about this gradient. The one I'm using is actually based on abstract one. And I just carried out a few edits to it to create this. Now abstract one, I'm not going to click on that because if I do, then I lose all the edits that I did to create this one. Abstract one has a bunch of colors and those colors blend together smoothly using the default, which I think is linear. And what I've done is just gone in between the steps, click on the midpoints and change the blending from linear to step. And step is the new feature. It's the new function inside of GIMP 2.10.8 that allows us to use the blend tool or the gradient tool in this interesting new way to create these hard edges and to create these beautiful designs. Now, if you want to mess around with this, I definitely recommend just grabbing one of these uh, colorful gradients, which are found in every edition of GIMP, and then just playing around with the, with, with the midpoints. Just click on the midpoint. It won't be easy to find the midpoint initially. Let me just undo that. You won't be able to find it easily because it will be kind of like this. But if you click on one of the endpoints and just move along the line, you'll see one of these babies here. Let me just click away. Um, you see one of these little round things here. And if you click on that, you'll get the option to change the blending from linear to step. And you can mess around and see what kind of uh, results you get. Now, I've also done some extra edits here. For instance, I wanted to create something that looked a little bit three dimensional. So as you can see, we've got some shadow details happening here. And we've got some, we've got this thing here, which looks a little bit three dimensional, like it's got a little bit of a raised area here, a bit of a shadow there. And that was done again, using the, the step function, the step blending. Um, it's really, really tight. I, 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 if I just move one of these aside, let me just... So, to show you how this works, if you click on the line, you add a new stop. But if you click on the midpoint, and the midpoint is always a circle, it allows you just to move the midpoint until you get all kinds of interesting effects. And if you do a few edits, you can get this kind of effect where you get a highlight on one side, a shadow on the other. And right at this edge here, we've got a hard edge. And then we get a smooth gradient. And this is done by using the alpha channel, which is this baby here. Uh, the alpha channel down at the bottom there that allows you to create these sorts of shadow areas where it looks as though you're getting translucency 
and the translucency is behaving a little bit like a shadow but that is gonna be it for this one this is a really interesting one you need to really get your hands on it and play around with it to see what it's actually like uh, and it's a lot of fun um, I'm going to leave it there but before we do that let's just undo some of the edits this is what the gradient tool normally looks and behaves like um, you can play around with it to create different shapes so we can go to shapes and choose radial we can also choose square and that's the one I've been playing around with and what we can also do is to choose repeat so I've been playing around with sawtooth wave repeat and it creates these interesting psychedelic repetitions it's pretty cool and the other thing I'm gonna mention is as you play around with the with the new feature if we choose let's say um, radial one thing you might notice if I zoom in is that the lines are a little bit jagged at the edges we don't normally bother about that because usually with the normal blending everything is kind of smooth but once we start using step you get this kind of jagged edges that you can see especially here to get rid of those we choose adaptive super sampling so you just come down here and click adaptive super sampling and the jagged lines just smooth away and everything looks really professional and it looks like you really know what you're doing so let's hit enter and that is going to be it for this one so definitely try this one out it's plenty of fun and like I say there have been a lot of bug fixes inside of GIMP 2.10.8 so for instance the wavelet decompose which is giving all kinds of trouble that has been fixed and there have been a few improvements to performance as well so I'm gonna leave it at that one hope you found some of that useful if you did hit the like button and I will see you in the next video bye